Okay. Now that I've gotten sanity back. Try to sneak my way around. Next time I manage to get one of the chemicals I need. After me, They're not very tasty. I don't like the sounds of this. Gotta learn to dodge barrels, man. Gotta tap Z twice. Or R, whichever one suits your fancy better. But whichever way, gotta tap it twice. and verify what time I'm at. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't really have a decent timer for keeping track of how long I've been going at it, so... Hercules! That would be an 
Ja. These people fell apart. Lovely. They fell apart all over the place. It's just pleasant. name is Wilhelm, House of Gerich. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the Castle Brennenberg. As most aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed Knight of the Order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and, the re well, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I'd been o rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position with, uh, within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day I've brought 
men, women, and children to Brennenberg, and I can't, well, I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my main, oh, men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I've done. I was weak and fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and I can no longer... Dot, dot, dot. Well, he managed to write the dots down just fine. Trying to make my way out of this wine cellar. Sanity? Crystal clear. Nice. Health? A few cuts and bruises. A little bit of oil. One lot of them. A lot of tinder boxes. And all four chemicals and the chemistry pot. Any objections to my departure? Objections? I'm sneaking. And I'm out of there. <sighs> This whole not having weapons thing is making this game a little bit interesting. Oh, shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, it's the nastiness. The nastiness is- ouch! The nastiness is back. Don't pop me, don't pop me. Okay, I'm just going in here. Don't pop. He sat down by the Kasba wall, gasping for air. Sweat poured from his forehead and onto the sand-veiled ground. Pleasant. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Running out of time, but I can at least make it to... The laboratory. Okay, and this looks to be about all the time I have for this episode, so I shall go ahead and call it quits here and see y'all next time for my chemistry experiment. <laughs> yeah.